The Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square present Music and the Spoken Word. Conducting today's program is Mac Wilberg with organist Richard Elliott and the spoken word by Lloyd Newell. Children of the Lord, let us sing with one. 
A university student recently had a life-changing insight, but unlike most things he was learning as a student, this insight didn't come from a lecture or a textbook. In fact, it was sparked when he forgot something from his textbook. While enrolled in a science class, he was fascinated as he read about how stars are formed. He noticed that if someone asked him about stars when he was studying the book, he could accurately describe the exact conditions necessary for star formation. But if someone asked him the same question a month or two later, he might have some hazy memory that hydrogen gas was involved in the process, but he would be unsure about the details. In time, he might even start second-guessing himself. Was he remembering correctly? Was hydrogen gas really essential to star formation? Time spent away from his studies caused him to doubt things he had once known with confidence and certainty. And what was so life-changing about this simple observation? The young man realized that this basic principle of academic success also applies to his spiritual growth. Truth is independent. It does not change. But our confidence in the truth varies according to our connection to God, the source of truth. That's why daily spiritual habits are so important. If we take time each day to connect with heaven through prayer and pondering God's word in purposeful study, we can more readily respond to life's difficulties with faith and clarity. We can even respond more confidently to questions that might challenge our faith. When those challenges come, we don't have to try to pull from a hazy memory of what we once read, felt, or knew. It's much better to draw upon recent experiences with the divine. Life's questions, confusions, and problems become less overwhelming and not so dark as we bask in divine light each day. We are here on earth to learn and grow. And like every other living, growing thing on earth, we grow gradually, consistently, day by day, not in occasional growth spurts. Devotion to God at its best happens regularly, even daily. Spiritual experiences or feelings of the past may not be enough to carry us through tomorrow's hard trials and hard questions. But taking time for holiness each day will keep our spiritual memories bright and powerful.
This performance continues the 94th year of continuous broadcasting of this historic program. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you this day and always. Till we meet again.